everybody, welcome back to another Stone Face Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we're watching more Iron Blood Orphans. We're on episode two, and uh, they're already in a fight. They barely had to do anything, and they're already killing again. How could they? They're, Correction, they're we're on normal. episode 27. Episode, well, episode two of the new season. There you go. Uh, correction, the season is like five years old. Uh... Episode 2 of the season that we're currently watching. You know, you keep using the word 2 in the word season, but you're not using them in the right order. <laughs> it's episode 2, season 2. There you go. Otherwise known as episode 27 of the entire show. <laughs> Theta, I'm, I'm come over there, don't you make me? <laughs> hey, look, I'm going to uh, have to figure out how to put it into a title. Do I just say episode 27 or I say season 2, episode 2? <laughs> I, I always go with the seasons there. But important things is, uh, they're in a fight, Mikazuki's out murdering people again, and they're probably going to talk about like who their attackers are, what they want, and who's behind the scenes. Or, or, Mikazuki's or, just going to kill them all, and there's not going to be any long-lasting repercussions at all. Uh, yeah, that's also a distinct possibility. Mikazuki will fly one of them into the city, will smash buildings, and just be like, I did good today. Well, it would be more like flies it into the farm, and then that would be a repercussion. Be like, hey, you've wasted the amount of money we're going to make now from the farms. Oh, oh, that would be a great little bit of thing. Like, he just bumps them into, like, some Tekadin merch, and it's like, you destroyed the merch, Mikazuki, how could you? Well, I'm assuming that the mines aren't next to the merch, so I think mean, it's also <laughs> probably not gonna happen. I'm just saying, based on Mikazuki, previous... You destroyed the U2s. <laughs> I'm just saying, based on previous season's episodes, what seems more likely here is that Mikazuki is going to kill all of them. The guys that are watching aren't gonna get heart at all. Mm-hmm. And there's going to be no repercussions, and it's just going to be left, who are they attacking us? Why were they attacking us? It's a mystery. We'll have to solve it. And then they won't do anything to solve it. <laughs> or they will. Or they'll just leave it in the background. Or one of the three new characters is going to be a detective. Or well, likely, or like our previous uh, season, it's going to be, we'll see all the politics happening, Kudelia will get a whiff of that, and then we'll explain that to people, like, by the way, this stuff is happening. Kudelia's not even giving speeches anymore. Uh, she, she's gotta start giving speeches again. Why? She's a corporate leader. She didn't even go into politics. That that's where the story's gonna go. That's all I'm gonna say. That's my she prediction for this episode. Didn't go Kelly into speeches. politics. All that shit through season one, and we got to season two, and she is a corporate manager. She's not even in politics. I think you'll find there's a very thin line between the two when it comes to colonialism. I feel like Which you're is what just... what I was trying to imply last time, but I think kind of went over your head, so I'm saying it again here now. No, it's not going over my head. I just feel like you're shoveling in your own storyline into a situation that doesn't... They, they literally call them colonies. Because it's the Earth... <laughs> I mean, it's... just nothing to shove there. It's just what it is. It's no, you know, you're still, it's your own narrative you're shoving in. That's not how it's been described in the show. I think you'll find that Earth's first colony on Mars will still be called a colony, even though we're not in the... 8th, 1700s to 1800s colonial era dealing with all the same shit. It's just a word in that aspect, a descriptive word to separate it from all other words. I swear, we're going to get to like 2050. It's going to be like, Mars finally sends back its first shipment of half metal from the colony. <laughs> Look, I don't know where you're standing here, but I think that... Uh... Uh-huh. The, the company that's shipping, like, full metal is probably going to be the one that I side with. You, you know, you know, why why settle for half when you can have the whole thing? Yeah, you know, I, I like I like whole grain metal. Throw in a little alchemy while we're at it? Put it. Wait, I know what the other half of it is now. It's corn. Well, I was it's corn metal. I was going to say Edward Ulrich. It's, it's all a marketing ploy. I knew it. All right. There's an FFA so fan out there who's getting my jokes. <laughs> Uh, before we get too deep in FMA, which uh, great series? Let's go. Which one? This one? Which one, Griff? Let's watch. <laughs> oh, is that your promise that we'll watch Full Metal Alchemist or Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood here on the show? Yo, hey, I'll watch either of them. 
Well, which one would you prefer to watch, Griff? Probably Brotherhood. Oh. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I have no strong thoughts one way or the other. Hey, Bakugo. What's that? And everyone's destroyed in the explosion of the impact. I was actually hoping what the hell? It's the that it was a different thing. That it wasn't just the same thing That's over the again. Kratos? The shape's a little bit different, but there's no doubt about it. It's Mr. Mikazuki. It's a new silhouette, He's so you back. can build it too with this new Gunpla model. <laughs> Well, I was hoping after he had dropped la at the end of the last episode that we were starting with him already on the ground and then somebody else was dropping a match him. That was just blood coming out of that gun. <laughs> Devil of Tekadin. That's the nickname his enemies gave him because he's always fighting on the front lines. He won't do that anymore. His the devil always the fights on the front lines, armistice. infamously. He's very uh, special. yeah, if you like the Rolling Stones, it's famously so he does. Hey, Held a general's rank, I believe, in fact. What? What do we do? <laughs> With the Blitzkrieg Rage, Damn, body state. monster. Pay attention! Your opponent's over here! Yeah, that thing's fast! Of course it is! This baby inherited my old Ryusego's battle data! And it also got the Alea Vignana system! Let's get out of here! I mean, for not having the oh, no, system, you he's not doing that bad. I'm like, literally, he got tripped and everything, but immediately Why? when he fell backwards, reason, ignited the working. engines and just flew uh, away. <laughs> he was like, still in full control. No, that was an escape pod, I think. No, no, the whole mech was going. I must miss it. Enemy forces have left our detection Quit blinking, Griffin. Get you those toothpicks. Let's regroup. <laughs> our boys need time to get back on their feet. I'm gonna put my hand over my face now, and oh, I'm gonna miss something important. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, we're back to date. It's the important part. See? Whoa. Still never run out. See, you missed the scene when Mikazuki was jerking off in the cockpit. <laughs> oh, great. Great sentence before the cut. It's not a cut. I can leave this in. Oh, you can leave this in now. Oh, we, we're well, because I just oh, mute gosh, the audio. Life. I'll mute the audio. We can still have a conversation, Griff. <laughs> so I was no, trying to. I demand two minutes of silence. So I was trying to indicate to you before with the uh, the end credits that you can watch the end credits and we can talk about how three different arms—one human, one robot, and one cybernetic—showed up. So why are some letters in red? Emphasis. Color, art, director, photography, orphodie, orphodie, music. Oh, that didn't work out so well on that one. Congratulations, <laughs> you just said it. Well, it was M U in red, and then it was S I C in the next one. Duck. I don't know. If you think it's some sort of weird code, why don't you take it to. <laughs> Solve All it. Right. You have now 23 t episodes to solve the code of the intro sequence. I'm going to solve the Iron Blooded Orphans R ARG five years after it came out. Go for it. See, that three arm thing I was just talking about. How pathetic. You let children mop the floor with you. It's a fiasco that will only serve to further embolden that little girl. What do you intend to do about this? We have no obligation to reveal our plans to you. What? This matter with Tekaten no longer has anything to do with you. To restore the honor and pride of the Don Horizon Corps, we won't rest until we eliminate them. See, so what was that? Alright, he's got a pretty straightforward goal. 
Yeah. Having said that, you're up against a group that's backed by Tewaz and our brows. That's Mark and something. I. For what I'm paying you, I would think you would be a little more forthcoming in regards that's to sharing something. the information you get. Stop wrestling Watch with himself. Activist. Just who I'm do you think you're talking to? I don't remember what I remember to. from. But I ah, I, well, I lost. I heavy metal from heavy metal. Anyone else for that matter? <laughs> The job of a pirate doesn't change. Yeah, the no trial the of opponent. Captain Stern or something like we that. Kill, we what a reference we put into Iron Blood Orphans, huh? Excuse me, Mr. Noblis. Hmm? You have a call for the nervous twitch is a guy you thought was illness. not important at all. In this fact, you put urgent. him at D tier, I believe. <laughs> Again? At first, I thought I could use him as I did Kudelia. <laughs> so However, unimportant, by the way, that he ah, appears so in the he's second episode. The wheels now. Ignore him. Oh. And bring me a refill, would you? I believe you only ended up in D tier because I we'll didn't want to put it lower. Of farm for the time being. No way the Dawn Horizon Corps is going to turn the other cheek. So lay low till things settle down. Got it. So while she's doing that, what are we going to do? Go at it with the Dawn Horizon Corps? You think that's possible? Not likely. Dawn Horizon Corps is a huge outfit with ten ships always at the oh, ready. His voice changed. Ton of mobile suits too. Maybe he's gotten older. Change the fact that Tekken is now in their. Or got a new voice actor. You're right. Like it or not, we or will start a smoking habit. Point. Uh, you're right. This is my voice. Tekken. It's always been like this, Theta. Um. If you see any problems, report them right away. I don't know, it looks like they're causing problems. Cost you your life. <laughs> ah, ah, hmm. We'll eat once we're done, so hustle! Put your backs into it! As if I could eat right now. Ah. Uh, I was hell-bent on seeing combat, even if it cost me my life. But I didn't think we'd really die. If you want to quit, there's the door. Akihiro. In Tekken, staying or quitting is up to you. Living or dying, that's up to you too. <laughs> Although the other guy probably has a Got fair it? amount of say. That goes for all of you as well. <laughs> it's your choice. Although on this show, not so Come much on. actually. Now that I think about it's it. your choice to die. To remember. Huh? Just What's get good. <laughs> weird. It's for a kill tally on my Shida. Dante. <gasps> You didn't take him down by yourself, you know. I, uh... You do realize it's all on the recorder, right? I figured you'd try something stupid, but come on. Hey, I was just... You're right, Dante. Uh... You can't let this stuff go to your head. It doesn't! Honest! Besides that, until those extra Shidans Mr. Mikazuki brought with Barbatos arrive here, don't get the idea that that one's your personal unit. Seriously? But they're already in orbit along with Akihiro's Gushion, aren't they? And they are the ones we're sending to Earth. Yeah. If they'd gotten here a day earlier, we second unit members could have seen some action, too. If you want some action, what do you say I run you ragged with a bit of training? What? You're also coming along, Oh, yeah, that's how that's so intended. Wait, I've already seen action on the front lines! <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, less talking and more... Uh, oh, saving all the animation frames there. <laughs> I was thinking that, too. <laughs> Even the little dots were moving. It's already in this sorry state. Yeah. Damn it. I wish you'd show a little restraint with your gear. So... How the lupus do out there? Lupus? You know good and well. That's the new name the Tewa's chief mechanic gave it. The Barbatos is the Barbatos. The repairs were good. You never change. It's the name we saw in the uh, the intro. Hello, it's Barbatos Lupus. How are you? Hey. There you go. Hi, Mika. That's what it said it's on the it's little startup thing. You know, the same way the big O has its big O. So showtime. Go get some air got got to distinguish the different designs. Yeah, because if you just stop eating in my in my mechanic shop, get out of here. <laughs> Have you been well? Yeah. I've stopped by to visit a few times now, but you've always been away. Oh, yeah. Orga tells me whenever there's fighting, you and the Barbatos are always on the front lines, leading the charge into battle. Well, unlike all the other guys, fighting is the only thing I'm good for. I feel like this is like uh, my fanfic, my sci-fi version of Sarah Plain and Tall. <laughs> I was about to say, just like, look at the chemistry dripping off these two, right? With one person putting in all the effort, the other one just being like, nah. I said she's the only one that looks like she's grown up, any. This way, no matter where we are in the world, we'll stay connected. 
Lately. Now, Actually, we also have phone. these things called cell phones, but uh, I've chosen bracelets. It smells like you. Sort of like it's that. a cell bracelet. But if it bothers you, I'll wash it. I will. Literally, the only things that they've done, what they just mentioned, by the way, is smell. <laughs> That's the only Shall things that they do. It's a smell -a phone. This had better be important. I have work to do. Sorry to bother you, but there's this strange old dude. Old dude? Hello there. Uh, hey there, Dad. Hey, Boston there he is. Great. It's you. The real hero. So, are these the new recruits? You need to make sure they know the names and faces of your business associates. This kind of thing won't do. Is he a VIP? You could say that. Very <laughs> irritating person. <laughs> That's the witty deputy boss we all know and love, always with the witty retort. Remember that time he shipped me off in a coffin into space? A yeah, idea. I remember that. <laughs> oh, lighten up. This is what happens I mean, when you don't have a proper Remember that time diet. I called in a favor to try to get you all killed by space mercenaries? Seriously? Don't fall for that crap. Now, now. I come with news that'll put a smile even on your face. Hey, remember when I used to be part of the crew that was, like, abusing you as children? <laughs> and decided just not to leave and you guys didn't do anything about it? Until you did? I'm pretty sure he was a loser even then. Call me Montag. I'd rather you use that name when referring to me. Though it's an open secret that you've been lending me a hand. Fine. What's the job? To eliminate the Dawn Oh, duh. You're right. You were right all along. It wasn't... There it wasn't the room renovated. I can recognize room if I have a room up. radar. The Dawn Horizon Core is an enormous yet elusive pirate gang. I mean, this is also the room that the first scene of the whole show took place in. Oh, yep, yep, it sure is. The office. For us. Continuity. I'll help however I can. My assistant, Isurugi, is already heading over to aid you. He's familiar with the inner workings of the Dawn Horizon Core. And very skilled. So you're using us as bait, huh? Such a lack of trust. I never trusted you to begin with. However, I'll take you up on your offer. Oh? Why would you accept it if you don't trust me? Because accepting your offer means taking the shortest route possible to our goal. You want to fight the now Dawn I'm still Horizon like... War? I'm even yeah, more curious if he's actually the bad guy. So I believe they're also Oof. a nuisance to Tewas. Uh, That's true. Well, ah, they just said the name of the mask guy. What? Ah, I assure you, it wasn't... It started with an M. It does. What, you tell me. <laughs> Let's see. It's one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven? No Seven or eight letters. A nice grandpa with those kids. <laughs> what are you saying exactly? Will you hunt down the Dawn Horizon Core? Are you kidding? I'm not that crazy. But I'd say seven. Take care of those idiot Depending on spelling. On own. Could like have double of one letter or not. Miguel. You You're yeah, so very the... close, in fact. You are ex exceptionally close. I'm gonna go with it then. So I don't think Miguel is the bad guy. That's not even close, though, when you see you saying it. He is the bad guy. Well, that's what I have to do now. Yeah, McGillis. to the Earth branch no later than the end of the month. McGillis is his name. Surely they know. There you go. See, it was... <laughs> I mean, it was hard for you, apparently. Dude killed one of my favorite characters and then set up the situation for another one of my favorite characters to be killed. So, right. but he hasn't really quite stated what like his reasoning for wanting power is, right? What what he actually wants for the world, has he? But the boss doesn't ask because he's worried about our situation. Yes, and I just don't remember. Hmm. He said it in a conversation with his father, as well as personal monologues that we've had. And yet, so like the last two HQ episodes. Doesn't help us at all. Oh yeah, yeah. He He's thinks he wants Galarhorn to be revitalized, where it was in the past, wasn't it? Earth branch and HQ part of <sighs> I mean, it yeah, sounds right, but it also I don't think it is right. I don't think it's more of a Galarhorn is rotten from the core sort of scenario. He'll refresh us about how evil he is. I hope. What nonsense! Well, I'm sure a lot of people would not consider him evil. That is somebody who had a lot of favorite characters who did not agree with him and are now dead because of him. I find him to be evil. 
What did you just say? Wanna run that by me again, you little? As long as you're here, you're gonna do Who things the tech in way. What's going on? God, I hate these kids. Oh, I'll tell you what's going on. <laughs> this little know-it-all punk here doesn't know who he's <clears throat> talking to. Since when do you call the guy who's teaching you the ropes a know-it-all? What's that? Aston, come on. Sorry about this. I promised to talk with him. You apologize too. Who is this kid? Aston. An asshole. His, his, his name's Aston now. There you go. Aston the asshole. Up. This? Just to get He's one of the um, space power kids. Clearly, you don't remember anybody, Griff. Or oh, okay. Toothpicks in the eyes, man. It's the only way we're gonna solve this problem. <laughs> but I don't think those regular soldiers. Were I'm supposed to be the one who hates this show. Pride, just like you. That's how it is. This is what their whole meal is—just a bowl of bread. I guess they got the soup. I need some parsley on the side. Good. Can't see it from this angle. Growing up, there was nothing to eat but garbage, so everything tastes good compared to that. Well, I'm glad it's better I, than garbage. No, I know it's tough to meant. draw, Don't worry but that is the You're weakest fine. soup I've ever okay. seen. That has like six <laughs> things. Look, man, they only had a very small animation budget, Don't and they're saving every on. corner that they can. They're saving it for the Gundam on? fight scenes. Not really. My life here is actually pretty great. I get to live with Fuka, and I can even send her to school. Oh, he's gonna die. Plus, I've got friends here too. I don't know. Sorry. He had the whole thing in the first step, uh, first season rather, where he uh, had the whole, remember he had the whole conversation thing. He had he talked to uh, Griffin about it. No, the good ones for guests. I don't remember what he talked to them about. No, she's a uh, super smart. Remember, she was going to that special school and everything, and that's when oh, Biscuit okay. showed the uh, cooking cracker thing off too. Yeah. So this is not the first time that they've been on the scene, and he didn't die in season one because they're all fucking immortal. Got a sec. Oh, hush, right? Did you not get enough food to eat? What's wrong? Nothing. I. It's the kid named Deku. He's been getting on my nerves. Are you serious? I've read all the manuals. <laughs> yeah. You're kidding, right? It takes more than that to pilot a mobile suit. Which is why I... I want to get the Alea Vignana. <gasps> Hush, was it? How old are you, anyway? Seventeen, sir. Well, if that's the case, then you're too old to get the Alea Vignana, cracking up in my head, he said seven. I'm sorry, kid. <laughs> too old. You heard me. No Just your average seven-year-old. <laughs> no one in anime looks their proper age. You could at least try it on me, couldn't you? I don't care if it doesn't work out. Don't say that! Huh? It's not to be taken lightly. The Alea Vignana surgery is a really dangerous one. And if it doesn't work, you could die. I understand that. <laughs> you do not! Your living condition There's cannot be that bad that uh, it's this either this die. job or die. Well, you know well I mean, it could be this anyway. or glory, Get right? Bakugo's got an attitude. Or hush, I guess. It's not what, you what are you doing? Why is he. Uh, Get a fly on her shoulder, I swear. To do to her? Talk. <clears throat> Let go! Hey, dial it down before you. Seriously? You have weight yeah, and size over this position. kid, and he has one arm. <laughs> you yeah, can... He's three years your elder. <laughs> I don't get bullied. Literally, all you do is Why? fall into him, and he has to either let go of you or hit the ground. Him? Just forget it. Sorry I bothered you. Sorry, I guess. It's fine. What was that about? See, they all said it was fine. There's everything's good now. But the, that guy, had, <laughs> he has like Sunday morning cartoon eyes. He is not sorry, not cartoon <laughs> comics. Sunday morning comic eyes. He doesn't draw any eyes. He has no eyeballs. They're just like a line and a dot. See? Oh, this guy is like oh. Something else scares me even more. He's got pure fisk build slums. right here. He's All ninety percent shoulder, ten percent head. <laughs> oh, backstory time. I sure got a major hole. Major hole. Hey guys, don't run so fast. Bilth was like her big brother. He always said he wanted to make our lives easier. So he left the slums to become a soldier. CGS. It didn't work out. And Bilth came back paralyzed be. from the waist down. Bilth! You must...
must be starving. It's the usual scraps, but the cafeteria owner threw in some extra. <sighs> Apparently, my surgery for the Alea Vignana didn't take. They called me industrial waste. Mm -hmm. And they said I was worthless now. What are you talking about? That wound will heal up in no time. I mean, come on, you're the toughest guy I know. And I'm not just saying that. You're wrong. If I were tough, this wouldn't have happened. Bills. There were tons of guys who were tougher than me. Like this kid who was in the bed next to mine. He was way smaller than I was. God damn it. Oh, I was about to, <laughs> to, I was about to compliment the show. I was about to say, if this has a, how season one would have started, if we would have gotten like, with this kind of character, and we had to be slowly worked our way up the totem pole of these kids working their way to freedom, it would have been great. And then he had to jerk off Mikazuki for some reason. I'm just a burden. Just about to compliment it, and he had to waste Damn, it all. Damn, dark right there. Forgive me. I'm so sorry. We all thought the same thing back then. But also, they did say paralyzed from the waist down, and he did manage to hook that on the ceiling. That is, uh, that's, why that's also impressive. I have no well, choice you don't but remember Forrest Gump? Next belt. Lieutenant Dan <laughs> can do a lot of shit, man. A suit, mark my words. Uh, Lieutenant Dan ain't got no legs. And there you go, I said it. <clears throat> I'll show them that if they stick with me, we can make this hellhole of a world worth living in. And then I'll, then I'll beat up Mikazuki. <laughs> Good luck on that. Wasn't oh man, that. this guy does not care. <laughs> Alright, this should be my guy? That we no, not my guy. It out with pirates on Mars. Yeah, my guy's still back on Earth. Had McGillis Fari. I wonder what the heck there you go. Going that's that's the one we were talking about. There's no need to worry. Yeah, I had no confusion. So you did. Protect you, Master Eok. Hmm? My guy's still back on Earth, though. I am repaying Master Rustle for taking me in. I and Rustle is the guy I'm talking about. My guy. Toward you, but for Master Rustle's sake, I shall keep you safe. <laughs> Honestly, narrator, I he will not be safe. To be I swear to, to you, Rustle. by my life, not However, one single butterfly shall become me in the inner range of you. <laughs> oh, that one. Trust him or not, he has been useful. Because of him, we now know what McGillis is up to. But even so, there's something about him that doesn't feel right. How are you doing? I've sent Eok and Julietta to the battle sector. Seems like McGillis sent Isarugi. That's the guy. Exactly. Stop blinking, Griff. He would. Stop Ooh. fucking blinking. Uh, wait, mm, oh, I don't see anything. What's happening? Oh. God damn, I was so many okay. toothpicks in your eyes. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> but it looks like things are about to get hectic. I'll be counting on you, Mika. Did you actually miss it? No, I didn't. I saw it. The cool new mask with, like, the uh, cyberpunk glow. Yeah, it's a different guy, though. It's not the other mask guy. It's a different guy. Right. Because he's... McGillis is back on Earth, so it can't possibly be him there, because they're in space. Are you throwing back at me the whole McGillis doesn't have that color hair argument again? <laughs> Look, I'm not expecting him to creatively dye his hair a third time to pretend to be another person. To trick his new antagonist. Look, he formed a new identity and put a mask on to form a for corporation based entirely around the mask identity. Are you saying he's now has a third identity, which is also a Gallarhorn soldier? It's fucking insanity. <laughs> Look, if that just becomes this thing, that like every ten episodes he has a new identity, he's like, no, I tricked you, I was McGillis all along. <laughs> and that's just his thing? I'll... <laughs> It seems I'll highly improbable that that's McGillis. It is. It seems highly improbable. Yes. Um, do you think they're going to show him in these credits though? Because these seem different than the previous. Yeah, ones. no. What well, the credits we had last time was actually the opening we had. Ah. Which is okay. why I mentioned the arm thing before it happened. It was the opening for this one. Also, those credits made no sense. 
next time on Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphan. Space. Battle Before Dawn. Iakujan, Kujan Family Patriarch, Regan Lay's launch. Let Iakujan's valiant figure burn into your mind. Some of those were words. I just realized that pirate guy has a literal bullseye on his forehead. I don't think that bodes well for him at all. Well, to, be, to be fair, the Marvel character Bullseye also has a bullseye on his forehead. Right, but Bullseye actually has superpowers. This guy, I suspect, probably does not. Uh, well, I suspect that this guy's probably surrounded by, I don't know, multiple tons of steel. <laughs> and it has an armament of weapons at its disposal. Well, I suspect that, uh... <laughs> well, I flirted your suspicion <laughs> that had no actual well, text to it. With, of your suspicion. With, with the subtext that the seven-star guy from Gallarhorn is being sent out here is probably related to him. Whoa. Alright, that'll be fun to see. They both have the Here's same uh, color art thing going on their face. And both have braided hair. That that is a good point. This could be a telegraph, like a visual telegraph. Um, I did like our new Bakugo slash Hush, uh, and his little backstory. I get what you're saying immediately. It's like, well, and then we had to go back to Mikazuki and how he's so cool. Yeah, there was no need for that. It was literally a, oh wow, because I was I was getting drawn in. I'm like, this is this is what I'm saying that episode one of last season was missing. The, this in the episode 24... The tragedy of their position. Episode 24 had the horrors of war, which would have really played up to how bad having children soldiers would be. And this one, including that into the episode 24, including, you know, the shit that they have to go through even before they became child soldiers, to the decision to become child soldiers. And then their failure... In that, where they get the nickname Human Garbage and everything like that, would have really played it uh, up. But then we had to go jerk off the main character some more. So it's like, <laughs> no. Uh, at, at least the rest of it was like well put together. Showed like, here's the here's what happens if the surgery fails. Here's what probably happens to a lot of these kids. They literally will probably go home and die eventually. Uh, They're orphans. And yet, and yet Bakugo here is like, I want to do it. About ten years later, but he wants to do it. I mean, I got no problem with that part. Mm -hmm. But I mean, uh, that's I mean, probably that's, it's stems. It's not a problem. That's just like an expression. It of, stems like... from the fact that I don't care about him. So <laughs> he's a joke right now. He re he reminds me of a My Hero Academia character. That's all he is. I don't foresee that changing, but he has twenty three episodes to change my mind. Until then, it's going to be jokes about this other pilot named Deku is really pissing me off. <laughs> That's what Mikazuki's for. He's already part of his backstory. Oh, no, no. He's the character he idolized his whole life, but just didn't know about it. That that uh, kid that was described that my, my hero from childhood told me about that I didn't recognize until now. It was you. It was you, Mikazuki. You're the inspiration <laughs> that has led me to this path. All Fuck right, so off! So, actual prediction, Bakugo will, in fact, get the surgery, and it will succeed, and he's going to become another pilot. Of course, because nothing bad can happen to these kids. Well, I mean, that's the that's the positive spin on this story, where it's like, oh, he's, he's overcoming, like, all these things that have... That wait a second, we still decided to do the terrifying surgery and it failed. What are we going to do for this person? I'm just going to leave that in. That was great. Yeah, I... <laughs> there was another freeze, <laughs> and you started with a thing, and you just like, I'm just moving around, and you just end with a thing. I'm leaving it in. Uh, but, uh, uh, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I, I mean, this could be a problem for them that they have to solve, and it's going to be tragic for everybody. I mean, I had a thought too, and I can't remember what it was. Uh, I completely lost it. It was related to what you were talking about, and then it would went away the moment the freeze happened. Mm -hmm. Uh, so let's see. So, what else do we have to say about this episode? Well, I mean, that's something that you noticed that happened. Something that I noticed happened. Well, we had a number of transitions between the scenes. 
There, there were in fact people speaking occasionally, except when their backs were turned or when we had a long. <laughs> yes, indeed, dialogue did happen, though animation was cut too short. Yeah, uh, it's not like the previous season didn't like do that, or it's not like a thing that you have to do in animation in general. But it it was noticeable. Uh, I will say so that a far. lot of people, I would say, in fact, all of them last season had eyes. Whoa. Yeah. This season, we have at least one character who just has slits. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I think the good thing to mention here would be that, hey, yeah, we had our D-tier character, who we think wasn't really doing anything last season, come back, and he's actually more directly involved, and he's going to get the bullets this season. 100%. He's getting the bullet. We don't know where the bullet's coming from, so we can't even say that yet. Uh, I, it, it's gonna happen. These... He's gonna push too far, trying to get what he wants. He's gonna put himself into a vulnerable position, and then Mikazuki's gonna, like, come from out of nowhere off-screen, sliding in with his mech. It's gonna be a face-up shot of him going, what, he's here? And then he's gonna get smashed. These, um... Because that's how Gundam does it. These that's mercenary pilots are not even our pi uh, pirate tier yet. These are our nobodies. These are... These are going to be a threat for, like, one more episode, and then we're going to be done with them, so... They, they did try to get some throwaway lines, and it's like, oh, that group of people? Oh, I want to want to mess with them. Let the rookies do it. Well, I mean, they refer to the, the battle sector or whatever. I'm just saying, you're, in the tier, if we're comparing uh, last season to the season, this is just the initial fight that sets off things into motion. So these aren't even our pirates from last season. These are the no the nobody Gallarhorn people, where only one of them had a name at that point. Right, right. Uh, let's see. I think that's all I got. Is that everything you got? I mean, there's the mystery topic that I can't remember that's gone away from me. I'm sure Who, it was who's important. Who's underneath the new mask? Somebody that doesn't want their identity to be revealed. <laughs> Again, it's McGillis, but in his fourth identity. So I don't far. think it's McGillis. <laughs> that would just be fucking stupid. And I'm giving the show McGillis at least disguises himself to trick his enemy into fighting himself. I'm giving the show at least that little bit of credit <laughs> to say that it's not McGillis again. Because if it's McGillis again, I'm just done. You'll be reacting right. by yourself. I'll sit here. <laughs> I'll sit here with the headphones off, just so the camera be here typing He'll something. Just... You'll just cross your. It's a perfect time for the uh, the freeze. I hope that gets recorded. Uh, there you go. I would say you froze doing the <laughs> arms cross. So. All right. Uh, I do think that's probably all we got then. So that's it for Iron Blood Orphans for the day. Uh, I'm Griffin. That's Theta, and we'll go ahead and catch you next time. See you, everybody. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stone Face Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?